Hello and welcome to Health and Heals with Dr. Lisa. I'm Dr. Lisa and we're here in my Ocean Oasis day spot in beautiful Santa Monica, California. And I'm going to answer your secret questions and set the facts straight about certain myths so that you are the go-to person in your group for all things beauty, health, and wellness. Time to look and feel fabulous. If it's all about looking and feeling great, I got you covered. Yeast versus BV or bacterial vaginosis. This is the ultimate vaginal war. How do you determine if it's a yeast infection so that you can battle it with an antifungal or a bacterial vaginosis, in which case you need to battle it with an antibiotic? Totally, completely different treatments. So important to know which one. I have women who come in thinking they have yeast and they have a bacterial infection, uh, and a bacterial infection and they have a yeast infection. The thing is, is they have two different treatments, so you have to know which one it is. All right, symptoms, discharge, and pH. This is how we diagnose these two. Yeast is associated more often with symptoms of itching, annoying itching and burning, whereas bacterial vaginosis or BV typically may have some burning or not many symptoms at all. However, BV typically has a foul, yellow, or even gray discharge, and yeast usually has no odor or a white cottage cheesy discharge. Either way, not fun. Normal vaginal pH is 3.8 to 4.2, and pH greater than 4.5 is found in 80 to 90% of patients with bacterial vaginosis, or BV, whereas the pH usually remains normal with yeast infections. So again, symptoms, pH, and discharge, these are the things that determine bacteria versus yeast, and we knock them out with two different things, with yeast and antifungal, with bacteria and antibiotic, and then knock out one punch, two punches, they're gone. Thank you so much for joining me today on Health and Heals. I hope this video was useful, I had fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe and feel free to ask me a question or suggest a topic below in the comments. And for more information about the health and wellness services I offer, you can go to OceanOasisDaySpa.com. And until next time, this is Dr. Lisa reminding you to be well and be fabulous.